So, here's who's coming to Jazz Fest as our major headline. It's going to be a slow reveal, so get ready. <laughs> a member of one of the most successful bands ever. He's co-written, written, or guitar riffed on numerous top ten hits. He's had singles appear in movies such as Heavy Metal and Urban Cowboy. Uh, his first hit, Rocky Mountain Way, reached number 23 on the charts. And his rock anthem, Life's Been Good, was a top 40 hit in 1978 after appearing in the movie FM. His guitar riffs on songs like Life in the Fast Lane helped propel the band The Eagles to the top position of most albums sold by any one artist. If you Google him for quotes, you might find this one. I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. And so if you haven't guessed by now, we couldn't be more proud to partner with Midcom Communications in presenting Joe Walsh, Saturday, July 20th. Quite right. simply, this opportunity to bring an artist of this caliber of Joe Walsh would not be possible without the support of Midcom Communications. So, at this time, I would like to introduce the Senior Vice President of Public Policy at Midcom Communications, Tom Simmons. Thank you, Rob. Well, we're very excited about <coughs> the uh, opportunity to have Joel Walsh here in Sioux Falls. And I want to publicly thank our Vice President of Marketing, Trish McCann, her idea to bring this forward to say, is this something that we could do? Uh, and it's something that we're very pleased to make happen. Jazz Fest, all of those things that Rob mentioned are uh, true about Jazz Fest, but maybe first and foremost from our standpoint, it's a community-wide celebration. And the community that, as we look at community, extends well beyond Sioux Falls. It extends, frankly, throughout the four state area that we serve. And we do pick up a lot of those comments from the communities that we serve as, well, as far away as Williston, North Dakota, and uh, over into uh, western Wisconsin. There is a lot of envy about what Sioux Falls is able to do with Jazz Fest, and frankly what Sioux Falls is able to do on a lot of different fronts. This is about economic development. This is about celebration. This is about a return to our customers in a way that I think is meaningful because if you do take Rob's advice and go out and Google Joe Walsh, uh, as I did, except I didn't look at all the accolades, I know about that. I went on Google to find out what a ticket price was. Good grief. It's incredibly expensive if you want to be in a position where you can see this particular show. And I know full well the good number of people in our market would not be able to or and, and would not be willing to pay perhaps that ticket price. But now they can come out to this wonderful free celebration in Sioux Falls on a glorious July day and uh, spend time with uh, Joe Walsh and, I don't know, 50 to 100,000 of their closest, most intimate friends. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what these celebrations are all about. 